It was the deadliest battle of the Afghan war. Taliban video shows the enemy surrounding a remote outpost and shooting down on U.S. soldiers like fish in a barrel. When it was over, nine Americans lay dead. Their company commander, Captain Matthew Meyer, was awarded the Silver Star for his bravery in fighting off a much larger force. That's his voice calmly talking to Apache gunships overhead. Uh, be advised, uh, we're in a bad situation. I need you to come in hot immediately. The enemy is so close, Meyer tells the incredulous pilots to lay down fire within 10 meters of his position. You know, I know it's high risk, but we need to get these guys off of us over. 10 meters. So that's got to be kidding me. Now Meyer, along with two of his superior officers who were not at the battle, have received career-ending letters of reprimand for failing to prepare adequate defenses in the days leading up to the attack. 49 American and 24 Afghan soldiers had been ordered to set up the outpost deep in enemy territory. I would have liked to have uh, had another platoon up there with troops in the high ground. It was July of 2008, and according to Sergeant David Zwick, they were short of not just troops, but basic necessities. Yeah. The second day, we were extremely low on water. Uh, we started uh, running out of water. It's, it's very hard to continue working through the heat of the day. Despite warnings from villagers that an attack was imminent, an unmanned surveillance drone, which had been watching over the troops, was diverted to a higher priority mission. The not having the surveillance was the concern for me. Um, I, I th part of the planning was that, that we would have some. The first Apache helicopters got there an hour after the Taliban opened fire. By then, Captain Meyer was the only officer still alive. They're within hand grenade range at this time. Break. Meyer can still appeal, but right now he has been both decorated and reprimanded for the same battle. Katie? David Martin with an exclusive report from the Pentagon. David, thank you.